I hope all of you can recognize this monument. This is Red Fort. It is a classic example of Mughal architecture. Apart from being a site of cultural heritage, this building is also politically important for India as important events like Independence Day and Republic Day are celebrated in the premises of this building. Now, do you know this building is composed of sandstone which is a type of rock. Let's see how these rocks are formed. These rocks are formed due to weathering and erosion of pre-existing rocks. We know natural forces like rivers erode the land surface when they flow over them. Now, in the upper course of the river, the size of the eroded particles are larger like in case of gravels. Now, the size of gravels keeps on decreasing due to friction and they can become as smaller as sand particles and further due to further erosion and friction their size reduces and they become as tiny as clay particles. Now all these eroded materials are then transported at the river beds and due to constant deposition of sediments layer over layer these sediments get hardened to form sedimentary rocks. So this is how mechanically formed sedimentary rocks are formed. They are formed due to denudation of existing rocks and deposition of eroded materials. Have you ever seen these rounded structures in the rocks? These rocks are called conglomerates. Now conglomerates are usually found along the river beds and these rocks are examples of mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. Now why these materials have rounded structures? This is because as I have discussed just now, these rocks are eroded and carried by the river and due to friction they acquire these rounded shapes. If you remember, I mentioned in the beginning of this video that red fort is composed of red sandstone and sandstone is another example of mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. These sandstone have finer particles because they are formed due to continuous erosion by natural agents like river or wind. Thus conglomerates and sandstone are examples of mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. Now can you name two most commonly used fuels in our country? Thus conglomerates and sandstones are examples of mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. Now let's learn about another type of sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks can also form chemically and therefore they are known as chemically formed sedimentary rocks. Sometimes in lagoons or any other shallow water bodies, water from loose sediments evaporates. So the intermolecular spaces between the sediments reduces and they become more compact to form sedimentary rocks. And these rocks are known as chemically formed sedimentary rocks and they are formed due to evaporation of salt water from loose sediments. Now in this picture we can see a part of our world map and this picture locates the Dead Sea. Dead Sea is located in the western part of Asia and near Mediterranean Sea. Now Dead Sea is a storehouse of chemically formed sedimentary rocks. This is because Dead Sea as you can see from the picture is located near the Tropic of cancer. So this region is subjected to high rate of evaporation and the water is also very saline. So due to rapid evaporation of salt water from loose sediments, chemically formed sedimentary rocks are formed here. Thus Dead Sea is a storehouse of chemically formed sedimentary rocks. Now can you name two most commonly used fuels in our country? Yes, they are coal and petroleum. These two minerals have high economic value and they are widely used as fuels. Now, these two minerals are also called fossil fuels. So now let's see how they are formed. These fuels are formed from the sediments of marine life. 
So millions of years ago, the remains of dead plants and animals got buried under the earth. Now the deposition of these sediments further thickened due to deposition of other sediments layer by layer. Now the depositions of sediments got hardened due to pressure from the overlying layers of rocks and finally they formed organically formed sedimentary rocks. Now petroleum is mainly from, from the remains of marine animals while coal is formed from the remains of plants. Thus organically formed sedimentary rocks are formed due to decomposition and sedimentation of dead organisms. Now here we have the classification chart of sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks can be classified into various types depending on how they are formed. The first type is mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. Mechanically formed sedimentary rocks as we have discussed earlier are formed due to weathering and erosion of pre-existing rocks and deposition of eroded materials. Some examples of mechanically formed sedimentary rocks are conglomerate and sandstone. The second type of sedimentary rock is chemically formed sedimentary rocks and chemically formed sedimentary rocks are formed due to evaporation of salt water from loose sediments. Some examples of chemically formed sedimentary rocks are rock salt and limestone. The Third type is organically formed sedimentary rocks. Organically formed sedimentary rocks are formed due to decomposition and sedimentation of remains of dead organisms. And some minerals like coal and petroleum can be extracted from organically formed sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks can be further classified into different types. Let's learn about them. We know there are some natural forces like rivers, wind, etc. The sedimentary rocks that are formed due to erosion and deposition of sediments brought by rivers are called riverine rocks. Now, if sedimentary rocks are formed due to erosion and deposition by glaciers, then they are known as glacial rocks. So, the glaciers scrape or erode the land surface when they move over them. Now, they carry the eroded materials along with them. Then, due to rise in temperature, the glaciers melt and deposit the debris. This is how glacial rocks are formed and they are mainly found along the slopes of a valley. The third type of sedimentary rock is aeolian rocks. Aeolian rocks are formed due to erosion and deposition of sand sediments by wind. So when wind blows over a land surface, they carry loose sediments like sand particles along with them. And when the flow of a wind gets obstructed by an obstacle, they deposit the sediments and these leads to the formation of aeolian rocks. Another category of sedimentary rock is lacustrine rocks. Lacustrine rocks are generally found at the bottom of a lake and they are formed due to deposition of sediments of a pre-existing lakes. Thus, sedimentary rocks can be classified into different types based on their agents of formation. The first type is riverine rocks and riverine rocks are formed by agents like rivers. Glacial rocks are formed by agents like glaciers. The rocks that are formed by wind are called aeolian rocks. And the last category is lacustrine rocks. Lacustrine rocks are formed by agents like lake. Now there is another type of sedimentary rock based on the agent of formation and that is marine rocks. 
Marine rocks are generally found at ocean floors and they are formed when the rivers deposit the eroded materials at the ocean beds. So the agent that forms marine rocks is ocean. Now, marine rocks can be further classified into two types. Let's learn about them. The first type of marine rocks is calcareous rocks. Calcareous rocks are formed from the sediments like oysters, corals, shells, etc. In this picture, we can see a calcareous rock and we can see in these holes, shells are present. So, this is because these rocks are formed due to depositions of sediments like shells. The next type of marine rocks is carbonaceous rocks. Carbonaceous rocks are formed due to deposition of sediments like sea flora and fauna. Thus, these are the two types of marine rocks. The first type is calcareous rocks and calcareous rocks as the name suggests are rich in mineral called calcium. While carbonaceous as the name suggests are rich in mineral called carbon. Till now we have discussed about different classifications of sedimentary rocks. Now let us discuss about few uses of sedimentary rocks. Remember, I mentioned that red fort is composed of a type of sedimentary rock that is red sandstone. Another historic monument that is Pyramid of Giza, which is also considered one of the seven wonders of the world, is composed of a type of sedimentary rock and the name of that rock is limestone. Thus, we can see that sedimentary rocks are widely used for building and construction purposes. So, what did you just learn? Pyramid of Giza is composed of sandstone, limestone, shell or conglomerate. Well, the correct answer is limestone. So, now let us discuss different characteristics of sedimentary rocks. In this See, this is a picture of a sedimentary rock. In this picture, we can see horizontal lines in sedimentary rocks. These, these horizontal lines represent different strata or layers of sedimentary rocks. We find these layers or strata in sedimentary rocks because sedimentary rocks are formed due to deposition of sediments layer over layer. So, sedimentary rocks have these layers and therefore they are also known as stratified rocks. We know sedimentary rocks are formed due to deposition of sediments. Now, these sediments contain both organic and inorganic matter. The inorganic matter includes rock particles and rock particles, sand, clay particles and other debris, while organic matter includes remains of dead plants and animals. Now, we already know what are fossils. Fossils are remains or traces of dead plants and animals. The remains of these dead plants and animals got deposited in the layers of sedimentary rocks along with other sediments and led to the formation of sedimentary rocks. And therefore, sedimentary rocks contain fossils. While discussing the characteristics of igneous rocks, I discussed that igneous rocks are generally crystalline as they are formed due to condensation of molten materials. But unlike igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks are non-crystalline because they are formed due to deposition of sediments and these rocks are also softer than other rocks, porous and permeable. So, here we have different characteristics of sedimentary rocks contain horizontal layers, sedimentary rocks contain fossils and sedimentary rocks are soft, porous and non-crystalline. Now, this map shows distribution of sedimentary rocks. 
So in this map, we can see that sedimentary rocks are mostly found all over the world. In fact, 75% of the Earth's surface are composed of sedimentary rocks. So in today's video, we studied about different classifications of sedimentary rocks. We saw that sedimentary rocks can be classified into different types based on the way they are formed and based on the agents by which they are formed. Next, we studied about characteristics of sedimentary rocks. And finally, we saw the uses and distribution of sedimentary rocks. In our next video, we will discuss about metamorphic rocks. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now